Beautiful. All right, guys, what we're doing right now is about to do the grading system on your muscle memory. In between the rounds, we'll explain it in its entirety. Very good. Mm-hmm. This will help. Nice. Mm-hmm. Keep going. Guard that grill. Don't just throw them shots. Make sure that grill is guarded well. I won't say anything else after this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just to give you guys a bird's eye view of what's actually going on, we're actually taking the science of developing muscle memory, which is key. Instead of just memorizing what you have to do in the ring, that does not come into play whenever you're in the midst of combat. That's why sometimes you see athletes that you look up to not perform the way they typically do because the level of competition is up and what they've been doing usually works against lesser competition and it's not embedded in their muscle memory to do. So what we're gonna do is show you the grading system, how to know what layout level your, your muscle memory has evolved to. So with this, these guys are going to be able to use a point system per round, grading how many actual skills you're displaying second nature. Doesn't matter what you memorize, it matters what your muscles have embedded, what's embedded inside of your muscles. So we're going to show you guys how to follow that and to continue to learn how to do these type things that matter most whenever you're at combat just simply make sure you subscribe because we're gonna put out some really great information um, to help you guys. If not, just join the online school of boxing and your objective is to learn the science. And we're gonna show you this next round. So take note how many different tactics are second nature to the guys. And then you'll learn the point system for those who come on board and become a member. Let's see what it looks like. Good. Mm -hmm. So what you'll do is count. Um, the numbers can range from 37 to 70 different skill tactics that you use in a, in a shadow boxing circuit. Lower end is what we call fighting as an opponent. You don't have enough muscle memory. Um, going up when you reach into 77 levels that's saying that you have enough muscle memory to fight at a lower level but you're at the at least you're on the ground so continue to watch let's see what it looks like good don't have the same tendencies you have to have enough skills to adapt to any scenario good Mm -hmm. Tyler with that hook to the body keep going with that hook to the body just real, there you go a little bit better now yeah and that and that muscle memory here that muscle memory has to be Keep it going. And time. Now, for me, what I'm seeing is some certain different things, tactics. What we will challenge it by saying, how would you handle a pressure fighter? What muscle memory is embedded there? How will you handle a boxer, a guy who can use the ring, a ring general? then you kind of grade. So as you progress through your shadow boxing techniques, your objective is to have scenarios in place so you'll know if your fighter understands how to do it. That's kind of what we're going to do. That's all we got for right now. Until next time, Coach Bradley signing out. 
make sure you subscribe to the site because we're giving away some serious um, Philly shell rolling shoulder posturing techniques this week. So subscribe to the site, get some of that, some of those cool tutorials. Until next time, be blessed at God's speed. This is Master Boxer in the new school of boxing. Peace.